Hey everyone, my name is Scott, and today we're going to solve the Excel sheet column title problem on leak code. This is the problem description. We're given a positive integer, and we need to return the corresponding column title as it would appear in an Excel spreadsheet. <coughs> so this is what it looks like. 1 goes to A, 2 goes to B, down through 26 goes to Z, and then 27, AA, 28, AB, so on. So this problem is a little confusing at first, but what it really is is just a number conversion problem. <clears throat> and there's kind of a general algorithm to doing this. But what we can do is we can subtract 1 from each number we're given. And what that does is it basically makes this a base 26 problem. We're basically converting this decimal number, which is base 10, into something that's base 26. So that's all we have to do. And then once we do that, it becomes pretty simple. So here's how we do it. We're going to use a string builder. Just initialize it as an empty string builder. And then while n is greater than 0. What are we going to do? Well, like I said, we need to take n down by 1. And what that does is it works our, it takes this 1 through 27, 1 through 26, makes it 0 through 25. So a base 26 problem, which for the way we're going to convert it just makes it a lot easier with the math. And the character that we need to add into is going to be a cast character of what? It's going to be n modulo 26, because we're going to base 26, plus 65. And then we're going to insert that at the beginning of our string builder. And then n gets divided by 26 each time. And then we'll return res to string. See what that looks like. It got number one right, so that's encouraging. All right, accepted. So this problem, whenever you're converting from decimal to anything, really, uh, you could have little alarm bells that start going off and saying, "Hey, I'm converting from decimal or from basically from one number." system to another, which is kind of what this is. It's This is a this is a base, a, a number system, a base, and we're just taking it to another number system. And try to figure out what your base is. And in this scenario, by subtracting 1, we go from 1 to A, 26 to Z, to 0 to A, 25 to Z. That way we're working in base 26. And then once you have your base, which we achieve by subtracting n here, decrementing it each time, then what you can do is you can figure out what character you need in that base by basically taking the modulo of your current number, so the remainder. Now, the plus 65, what's that? what that's doing is uh, 65 is capital A in ASCII code. So it figures out what numbers this is and then adds that to capital A. So if it's 0, then this will be 0, and we'll just get capital A. If it's 1, we'll add 1 to get to 66, that'll be capital B. So that's what the plus 65 is for. If you haven't seen this before, what you can do is you can take integers and cast them to characters, and it'll become their ASCII value. And if you don't know about the ASCII table, look it up. It's really good information to know and to have in your back pocket for stuff like this. So we get the remainder 26, or the remainder when n is divided by 26. And then adding 65 to it is just getting the number, getting the, uh, the letter that corresponds to it. So 65 in ASCII is capital A, and then we add whatever the remainder is when dividing by 26 to it to get to the letter that we need. And then we just put it at the front. And then each time you're gonna divide out your base. So it keeps getting smaller and smaller. So that's it for this one. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you next time.